This show is brought to you by patrons such as Benjamin, Dharma Wheelies, open parentheses O, close parentheses, open parentheses O, close parentheses, space, open bracket, underscore, close bracket. It's Leon, motherfucker, Parkman, Phone Losers of America, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Anonymous, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about the show at immoralhole.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. If you look on our Patreon, we currently offer all of the individual exported calls as zip files. We also include the Roy Sipian side as an isolated zip file for remixing purposes. You need a dorm to have that here, so I'm going to ask. Thank Hello? you for calling Sierra Mara. This is Emily. How may I assist you? Hi. Do you have the budget beef? What was that? The budget beef? You have the budget beef for sale? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Oh, a man there, he told me, oh, you can have the budget beef, but you got to have a dorm here. Do you have dorms? Like, can I rent a dorm so I can have the budget beef? Uh, we do have rooms available in the hotel, but oh, you'd have to speak perfect. to the front desk about that. And then I can get the budget beef? Um, I'm not I... sure. I'm not sure that I know what you're talking about. He said it was like it was like a really uh, fatty piece of beef. It was like an end cut on the butt or something. And okay. his budget beef, like he sells it to the, you know, people that come by, the vagrants, the hobos. Uh, definitely not here, unfortunately. Oh, uh, but he, he told me, come back later. We have the budget beef at night. So like five dollars instead with? of thirteen. I don't know his name. I didn't ask. I didn't bother to ask. He just said, yeah, come by. I'll give it to you. He said, you know. Are you just come by, you know, area? wait by the dumpster. I'll give you the I'll give you the the scraps. He said the budget beef. Interesting. I am uh not sure that I know well, what you're talking about. You have the budget chicken, the budget chicken? He said, you know, the budget chicken is like five dollars instead of three dollars. Interesting. I um, we the only chicken that we have on our menu is going to be the ranch dinner, and it's going to be one hundred and ninety-five dollars. That's for one dish. Uh, that's for a party of two, so it's a shared a uh, shared oh, meal. Oh, okay. How many? Can chickens? I please on hold briefly? No. Typical woman. Never fucking listens. I think we'll end it there with budget budget beef. Thank you for calling Groot. Angelica speaking. How may I assist you? Hey, are you at the are you at the place or is this a call center? No, this is a call center. Oh, okay. Can you can you tell me I'm looking at my receipt right now and I'm looking at the itemized items? And I need to go over something with you because I, I I was supposed to buy some top notch steaks here, and my receipt tells me otherwise. Do you want me to give you the email address for the puppy steak manager? No, well, no, I I just need to I I need to run this by someone. Maybe I'm overreacting. I'm not sure. <laughs> but what would you, how can I help you? Okay, like so, I'm looking at this right. I'm looking at my itemized receipt, and mm-hmm. the, the the total looks the total looks right. The price looks fantastic. Um, but when I when it, right here, I look at the steak. It's supposed to be a good steak, and it says it says the bud, budget steak. Budget steak, and this is for poppy yeah. steak. Yeah, it said it said one one pound meat gristle steak. Give me one second. Let me look at the menu. It says, and then right below that, it says quarter pound of cocker spaniel ribs. And what what were what were the steaks that you got? Yeah, well, the first one it says it says meat gristle. It says two 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 fillets of meat gristle of of the of meat gristle steaks. Meat. 
Yeah. Like this, and this there was thing. another one. It's it's it said half a pound of skim meat. Apparently, it's something they give vegetarians. One second. Wait, give me one. I may have to get you in contact with the manager of Poppy State because right now where I'm at, okay. is this I'm a not... franchise? Like, or is it, or is this a like what what am I, is is this just like something a one off from this one location? Well, um, what 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 I'm where I'm at right now. Is Poppy Steak a franchise? No, but it's under a major food yeah. group, Groot Hospitality. Okay. Okay. Because you know, because you know what, they don't want me. They don't want me to get mad, because because that's like you know, if they want to, you know, they want to talk to Ish. If you know what I'm talking about, that's like them bringing piss to a shit fight, and they're just not they're ill prepared. Oh, we don't want that, sir. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah, you're not gonna come in here and give me shit and tell me it's piss. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, it's not. That is not good. Yeah, it's not good at all. Give me one second. Okay. And do you, do I burnt my forearm. On, I burnt my. I burnt my. I burnt my my forearm on Monday cooking bacon. You did. What was the name on your reservation at Poppy State? Uh, the last name is Peacock, like the bird. P E A C O C K. First name was Drew. Okay. And you ate there today? Yeah. I see that you had a reservation for Poppy Steak on November of last year. Not that you had one today. Oh, no, no. Okay, I miss. No, no, I misspoke. This has been going on since November. Like, they never call me back, and I have to call once a week. And they always say, they're like, here's the, here's the email. They're like, we'll have them call you. And like, I get an email back and they're like, oh, very sorry we are. Well, I will, we'll call you. We'll call you. And then uh, nothing happens. And then they're like, oh, we tried to call you and your number has been changed. And I've had the same number since 1998. Give me one. Because honestly, they that's keep, really they keep all telling I can me. They're like, oh, we'll give you an email address. Yeah, they, they're like, here, we'll give you a glaze. You can rub your meats, and I find this very offensive. Give me one second. Sounds very, very, very sexual, and I'm a church-going man. They're like, oh, here, you can rub your meats with the glaze. You can glaze it. Because I want this to be... Yeah. Okay, so what you ordered, you ordered the the Wagyu pastrami, and then you ordered the ribeye. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I ordered. Yeah, and you're but, saying but when it got when it got here, I had to itemize the itemized thing. It says it says right here. It said meat meat gristle one meat, skirt meat gristle one skim meats one one half a bark bark one half a bark bark. <laughs> yeah, well, like it was supposed to be a side. It's kind of like asparagus, but it's it's not. <laughs> What is that lady laughing about? Is she laughing about our conversation? No, she can't hear our conversation. Good. Nosy, nosy B word. <laughs> Give me one second, okay? All right. <laughs> Drink that pussy juice, baby. I can put my mouth over your pussy and just drink that juice. Hello, Hello, Mr. Andrew. Hi. Okay, yeah. so what I can do, I am going to send your information over to the manager. And as a reservationist, yeah. that's literally all I can do. Okay. Now, like, could you send them my phone number and have them call me? Like, because I, I keep calling and I give them my number and they keep, I don't know if they, the person in the back doesn't know how to dial the machine. Or or what the thing is, but like they they I always give them the number and they're like oh oh it says AT and T the number's been changed but I don't ha I have T Mobile. Is your phone number nine? Yeah yes yes. Okay yes so I'm going to send them over with that number and write them an email and let them know to get in contact with you okay. Okay I mean I'll I'll be awaiting. Okay Mr. Andrew I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, all right all right can you say bark bark one more time before I let you go. No, sir. Oh, all right. Have a good one. 
I'm going to say it though, okay? Bark, bark. Shane. Before Brady's veranda. Hey, Hello? are you, uh, listen, why you, why you breathe so hard? Why are you breathing in my mouth? Oh, you got stank breath. Wow. Well, I'm sorry you feel that yeah. way. Well, you need a brush. You need a brush. You need to get some of that charcoal activated toothpaste and get some of that, get some of that shit off your teeth. Okay. Can I help you? All right. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what is it you do there? Answer the phone, sir. Okay, well, you're not doing a very good motherfucking job. We're going to have to positively not transition you to another what? position. What's that? Motherfucking job. Motherfucking job. You, you wish.com phone. Yeah, wish.com phone answer, motherfucker, you. Okay. Okay? Now, sure. do you want to try to help me or sh should I talk to the next asshole? You can talk to whoever you'd like to, Pumpkin. All right. Well, you put the you put the person with the biggest labia on the phone, and I'll talk to them. They're already gone for the night. Is there something I can help you with? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know your meats? You know how to handle oh, the meats. You know how to describe them. You can okay. describe anything. Well, any I kind of a, meat you'd like to describe, Pumpkin. Ah, ah, I had a problem with one of your meats. You had a problem with a meat. Yeah, with some of the meat. Ah. ah. I'll get a pencil and paper and I'll describe ah, ah, don't do that to me. That's mine. Ah. Now you get a you get a pen and a paper and I'm gonna describe it to you what the problem is. Okay, go ahead. You didn't go anywhere. Hey, tell 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 motherfucker right there in the back to shh the hush up adults are having a conversation here. So you know you know the meat, right? You're supposed to go against the grain when you do the cuts. Yes, sir. Ah, all right, good. Now you need to you need to tell whoever's cutting them to do that shit because I got the meat and you cut it the wrong way. I saw tough. It chipped my tooth. The meat chipped your tooth. Ah. Yeah, because you cut it against ah. the grain. You cut really? it the wrong way. Ah. ah, yeah, stop that. Don't do that anymore. Yeah, so it was tough, right? And so I chewed and chewed and chewed. And there was tendons and there was veins. You didn't. It's like it wasn't even a tenderized. Okay. Well, we don't tenderize our meat, sir. Ah. Ah. Why are you doing that? Now, listen. Do I need to come down there and show you how to do it? Because I'm going to get a refund for this. I swear to God. I mean, that's what I'm on this earth for—is to eat free. You're out. You're out to eat free. Ah. Yes. Well. Uh, okay. Well, you can come back tomorrow. My complaint department will be here tomorrow. And you can take it up with him, sir. Who is, who is his, your complaint department? Who is his? My complaint department is whoever you get in contact with tomorrow. They'll be here readily available is it a, for you. Is it a woman? You is can it start a, at 9 a.m., but they probably won't be here. Is it a woman? Is it a woman? It may be a woman. No, no. I need, I need to know because if it's a woman, I want to put some cologne on. I want to smell nice when I call. <laughs> okay. It, it may be. I mean, I if you're wanna, coming into the into the store, it may be a female yeah. for sure. I'm not coming in. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call, but I want to smell nice when I call. Well, we don't have smellophones, sir. <laughs> I no, that would be ridiculous. Come on, Meta Meta from Facebook hasn't hasn't done that yet. But listen, I want to. What what does she like to smell? Like I can put some onions and mushrooms around my neck. She she would love that, especially if you bring some of that yeah. um, calcy meat in. I guess you're complaining about. She she would like to see that too. It's tough. It's tough. It chipped my tooth. I I I understand. My tooth, my tooth, and like my nerve is exposed in my tooth. It was a chipped. And now, are you sure this wasn't chipped beef? Is that maybe why that happened? Uh, we don't serve chipped beef. Okay. But what did you order? Then how sir? did this happen? What What did you order? I ordered, sir? I, a new, a new, a New York strip, but I wanted medium rare, and it was. Well, we don't have New York strip. So I know you're, you're, you're saving now because we don't, yeah, we don't see, serve a New see, York you strip. So you might be calling the yeah. wrong establishment, sir. Ah, ah, don't ah, hey, you don't bring, even try you this with me. My complaint department in. My complaint department will be here tomorrow. Ah, um, I know all your tactics. Look at this. You, next, you're going to say you don't even have beef. You don't even have the meat. Ah. 
Well, we got the beef. Ah. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, honey, honey, be quiet. Men are talking, honey. <laughs> ah. <laughs> why, why don't you, why don't you go, why don't you go and slice up about a pound and a half of labia meat and then put it on a sandwich for me? Well, it'll be cut at the wrong grain, evidently. So, it may yeah, because your motherfuckers, tooth. your motherfuckers don't know. See, pussy meat's fine to chip a tooth on. That's okay. Maybe it's okay to chip a tooth on, but the New York strip that we don't yeah. serve is not? Yeah, that's correct. You're starting to get okay, it now, baby. Right. As long as we're on the same page. Ah! Ah. Have a good night, sir. Ah. Thank you for calling me for Brady's and Parish. This is Kaylee. How can I help you? Hi, Kaylee. Do you have the skim skirt steak? Um, the, the budget uh, beef. The what? I'm sorry. The budget beef, the skirt, the skirt of the beef. I have never heard of that, so let me ask the manager real quick. You have the the skirt labia beef curtain. I don't understand what you're saying. Give me one second. All right, ask about that. He said, no, we do not have the budget beef. All right, well, do you have the, the, the what was it called? It was the skirt, the, the, the skim skirt beef. Skim skirt? The One skim second. skirt. Hello? Hi. Have you got the skim skirt beef? What? The lady, the, what? the The skim skirt beef labia. No. No. It, no. It's skin. No, we sure don't. Skirt. No, we sure don't. Yeah, I'm sure. It's tenderized. Hey. It's yeah. massage. Mm-hmm. It's oiled. Yeah. Seasoned. Yeah. Cooked. Yeah. You haven't got nothing cooked or beef? No, not today. Sorry. Well, how about flipped and reversed? No, no. Hang on one second, though, for me, will you? I got one second for you. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, that's that's four more than one. John can help you. Yeah, I'm just looking to find out if you got the skim skirt beef. Uh, hang on, let me check for you. All right. Oh. Oh, uh, no, we just sold the last order of it about three minutes ago. Have you got the rectal ring rigatoni? Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. You got the beef vagina vindaloo? Yeah, we sure do. Okay, sure, dude. Okay. How much? Free. How can I get it with heat? I'll pay a little bit more. Yeah, hang on one second for me, wait. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we're right free. Thank you, buddy. Oh, wow. Well, sounds like the radio got real loud for some reason. I wonder why. Thank you for beef. calling the OG Beef. It's apparently... The original Beef of Brady's on King's Avenue. Oh, that's the original Brady's. one. Wow. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Hi. You you got the beef? Um yes. Okay, how much is the beef gravies? Uh beef gravy. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what exactly you're talking about. We have a couple things that you have gravy the, on them. Yeah, the beef, the, like, you know, the beef gravy, it's, be, you have beef dropping, it's like the skirt droppings, but you call it beef gravy? Uh, we just have a, um, just a gravy that we put on, like, our mashed would potatoes. It, would it, well, yeah, would it help if I described it? Um, give me one second. No, 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 you want me to describe it real quick? Yes, go ahead. 
right. Okay, right. it's it's when it's when a man puts a penis inside of a woman and orgasms, and then beef gravy, and the woman's pregnant, and then her life's over for the next eighteen years because she's not allowed to do shit. Oh God. Yeah. So how many times has this happened to you? Never. Why not? Why not? Um, are you ordering some to go? Yeah, some some meat gravy to go, please. Mmm, extra chunky. Ah. I don't know. Can you answer? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. We must have the wrong number. Oh, my God. Is this all y'all got to do? Pardon me? You know what? What? Somebody just called me from your number. Pardon me? Was it recorded? Uh, Nothing. I got the wrong number. I'm sorry about that. You have a good evening. Because somebody just called me from your number. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Have you got the labia skirt beef steak? <laughs> no, we do not, and we are closed. Ah. Uh, when do you open? Can you repeat that for me one more time? What were you trying what were you trying to order? Yeah, the labia skirt beef steak. No, we do not have that. Sorry, but we open at 11 o'clock. Do you have the big labia steak? No, we do not. (laughs) Why are you laughing? Uh, I've never heard of a steak um, called that before. I'm sorry. Oh, it's the lips? It's the big lips? Okay. Yeah, no, we don't have that. They cut the beef so it looks like lips. And then you kiss it. Who is it. this? <laughs> Who is this? Oh, oh. Uh, just a customer asking about the meat. Oh, I'm sorry. No, sir. I'm sorry. We do not. Oh. Do you have the big, uh, the big testicles? <laughs> yes, we do. How many would you like? Oh no, I have I have enough. You have enough? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you have a good night. We'll see you, you tomorrow. Okay. okay. I'll All be right, there right goodbye. when you wake up. Okay, okay bye. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. I love you. All right. Uh say it back or it's weird. Beef up Brady's Davenport. This is Alyssa. How may I help you? Hey, hey Alyssa. Um Hey, I, I don't mean to bother, but can you, can you move to the left just a little bit? I'm sorry? Can, just to the left, just a little bit to your left. Move move just a little bit over. Uh, what are you yeah, asking I me? See, I, just, just move over to the left. Yeah, I'm trying to get a better view. Move, move over. Yeah. I like your pants. <laughs> Being looked at like a... Sawcrest Steakhouse Violin, this is Robert, man, assist you. Oh, are you a man? Hello. Are yep. you a guy? I'm man, assist you. Yeah. I am. Ew. Ew. Can, can I, I talk? To, can I talk to a woman? Can I talk? Ew. Don't I, can I talk to a woman? No. I'm playing telephone dating game, and you're not my type. No. That I need to talk to a, a woman. I don't want to be gay. I want, let me talk to a woman. Yeah. You can't make me be gay. Give me a woman, please. Yeah. yeah. You want to talk to Terrence? No. Is he is he a woman? How can I help you? I need to talk to a woman. I have pent up spermies. I have a spermies python in my. Pa- Remember you doing? Hard beef now. Hi, do you have the cummy bears there? Do we have the what? The cummy bear beef steak? No, we don't. Do you have the big labia 
State. Who is this? Um, customer. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Hey, how's it going? I I'm pretty decent. Uh can you put that can you put that heifer on? I'm I'm pre scouting my cuts of beef beef before I come in. Um I don't think I understand what you said. What's the fattiest part of that woman that was just on? Who? The woman that was just on. What's on the her, what? what's the fattiest what's the fattiest cut on that on that heifer? On the what? On the woman, on her ass. Is it her ass? Or what is it? Don't play games with me, man. That's because you're stupid. No, it's because you're stupid. You hear with a speech impediment, motherfucker, you. Can't hear you very well. Yeah? Why don't you turn your hearing aids up to a 10? I can't hear you very well. Maybe your phone isn't good because you're poor. You know what you sound like right now? Why don't you? Hey, how was your highest your education level? Hey, shut up! Shut the fuck up there, well. meat jockey! Shut up, meat jockey! Now you don't sit there and yell hey, at my I goddamn I didn't you. mean to uh, offend you. Uh, I really just couldn't hear you very well. That's my fault. Oh, well, that's understandable. Listen, uh, I'm just trying to get some meat yeah, juices. You know the juices from when you're when you're cooking and it drips into the pan. I want to buy that. Because I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a nice ajou sauce. I can't hear you very well. Are you okay? You hear that? Yeah. Let me Are talk you to you. Let me put. You hear? Hey, give me just one second. I got something for him. I'm gonna go. All right, maybe you, you. Maybe you turn down the music. He hung up. Hey, Mr. Stark, this is Albany. How may I help you? What? Hello? What your name is? Hi. Albany. Al- Albany? Uh, what? Is that where your parents conceived you? No, sir. Do you know where they conceived you? No, sir. Do you know what position they used? No, sir. Okay, I need to make an order, please. Okay, what's a good phone number for you? Uh, is it on the caller ID? Because it's a new phone. It's a new phone. No, sir, we don't. It, it, as soon as I answer, it goes away. It's an answering that goes away? Like, as soon as I answer the phone, the number goes away. Oh, oh. Oh, it's like disappearing ink caller ID. Sir? Yeah, uh, I mean, okay, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, what, 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 do you have any specials tonight? Um, fish and chips. What type of do? Can I ask what type of fish it is? Like what? What? Uh, what type? Is I'm it a cod? 100%. Is it? Uh, I, I think so. Can you ask? Is it if it's a cod, cod or a pollock? A pollock? Pollock? It's, uh, it's cod. It's not the a pollock. It's cod. Okay. okay I'll, um. Do you know what it's battered with? If is it a beer batter? No, sir. It's not beer batter. Okay. Okay. I'm a. I'm a. I want to get one order of busy jeans. And I want to get a, uh, you have Coke products or Pepsi? I'm sorry, you said you wanted to order a fish and chips? Yeah, I'm, I still want to order one. Okay, what's a good phone number for you? It's on the caller ID. I don't have the caller ID, sir. Okay, if I call back, can you write it down first before you pick up the phone? Um... I could, but I'm technically not supposed to take a to-go order at the moment because it's 1047, and I was just going to put it in for you real quick. Okay, well, we, we'll do this. We'll do this. Uh, I'll call back. You write it down, and then you put it in. I'll just go ahead and put it in, and and if you um, – because we just take the number in case, like, you don't show up, but I'll just go ahead and put it in for have you. you. Ever had an, have you ever had an abortion? I'm sorry. Excuse me? That is inappropriate yeah. to ask me. No, no, it, it, I, I'm into politics. I'm watching CNN right now, and it, I, I, it, I, 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 I have a short I track. I have a short track mind. It popped yeah, in my head, and, and now I just I, don't I have care to know. What's your answer, sir? That is disrespectful to ask me. 
No, what? No, it's it's not really that personal. It's like mainstream. It these is days. personal. Asking me if I've had an abortion is personal, and that's very disrespectful. I'll just mark that down as a yes. Um, no, sir, I have not had an abortion, but either way, that's very disrespectful to ask someone over the phone. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I. Uh, um, no, so back sir, to the fish and, um, um, fish and chips. Back to the fish and chips. No. No, sir. We're not back, supposed to take to-go orders after 1030, so at back, this point, I'm not taking back, your to-go orders. Back, 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 back to the fish and chips. Nope. No, sir. Back, we don't, back, we don't back, take back, to-go orders after back, 1030. Straight back, back. Fish and chips? Back? No. We don't take to-go orders after 1030. Um, if you want to order, you but have... It, but, 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 but I'm hungry. It's Lent. It's Lent. You can't... You're denying me my religious practices. I'll I'll sue. Sorry, you just asked me if I had an abortion over the phone. That's major disrespect. No, but but you're That's you're not allowing me to practice my Catholics. You you you're denying me service because I'm Catholic. No, I'm not denying you service because of anything. We don't take to go orders after 10:30, and it is 10:50. But but I just got out of Catholic mass. I it's time to eat. Sir, we don't take to go orders after 10:30, and it's 10:50. I, why? How long have you been a bigot? Excuse me. How long have you been a bigot? I'm Catholic. You're denying me fish on Lent. Sir, I hope you have a great night. I mean, thank you for calling me for Brady's. Baby, have you had an abortion? Nope. Okay. Cool. I can I can order from you then. I'm ordering my Lent right now, my my Lent food. Do you have any non meat options? Hold on one second. You got fish? Why don't you check your pants? Is this her check is this her checking her pants? <laughs> this is Natalie, can I help you? Hey Natalie, how you doing? Do you have any non meat options? I'm Catholic and it's Lent. I need fish. Um, we do have caller ID, and I can report you to the police. For what? For me asking about abortion status? Uh, yes. That's not a crime. I'm trying to figure out if I can order from this person or not. She said she didn't have an abortion. I'm Catholic, so we're good. Okay. All right, are you, are so you really looking some, to, to place yeah, an order? I need or? to get some fish. Yeah, yeah, because I just got out of mass. I'm a Catholic. Okay. All right, um... I have to I have to eat fish. The Lord commands it on Fridays. He says no red meats. Okay. So right, I'm, wait, trying, wait. I'm trying to get some meat. Okay. Um. Did you want codfish or big catch? No, a cod's fine. Is it is it uh how is it done? Is it fried? Is it deep deep fried? Is it sautéed? How's it done? It is beer battered and deep fried. Beer Do you know what type of beer? Or is it just a generic beer? It's uh, it, yeah, it's probably just a generic beer. Okay. Uh, does it come with fries, or is that a thing you got to get on a side? It comes with two sides. Oh, two sides. Um, so like, like I I can do fries, fries and, and do you have uh, do you have broccoli instead? We do. Okay, I do broccoli, uh, French fries. How many fillets come with the with the with the meal? With the fish, it, it comes with three fillets. Three fillets, okay. Um, and can, can, is it is it all just cooked one way, uh, or can you make a special order for what like how you want it cooked? It 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 is fried. Okay, right, right. But can I do like less fried? You know how they do like medium rare for burgers, medium well, um, like yeah, that, or is it just all not like, not for the fish? No, sir. It has to be fully okay. cooked. And if yeah, yeah, okay, I understand. I understand. Could you ask could you ask the person that when they're putting the fillet in if I can have the labia part of the fish? That's okay. All right. Um I got your number. I'm gonna I'm gonna call now. You're gonna want you. You're gonna call you're gonna call me later when you're horny. <laughs> I'm a year man, the fried Thanks, fish Walker, special. Lux, he's Gary speaking. How may I assist you? This guy's a bitch and you can tell. This is Sawgrass, how may I help Hello? you? Hello? Yes, it's Sawgrass. Uh, how may I help you? Sa- sawgrass or tall grass? Salt, salt grass. A salt grass? 
places that are still open. Good evening, and thank you for calling Firebirds and OKC. This is Kayla. Uh, hey, 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 left my balloon inside the store. You did. Can you look for it for me, please? Okay. Uh, what does the balloon look like? My dick. It's what? You you can like put what? your lips on it and inflate it. A dick. Right, a, a, a big dick. Yes. Thank you for calling Firebirds Chisholm Creek. This is Kelsey you speaking. Better you. Find my balloon. you better find my balloon. Downy the clown made it for me. Hello, god damn it. Hello. You guys better find my balloon. I think I left it under the table. Downy the clown made it for me for my birthday. All right, thanks for calling. Bye. God damn you, bitch! Yeah, he wouldn't believe us, but they were very offended by that. Would you suck a dirty dick? No. Hello? You 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 didn't answer the question. Who is this? Hello? 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 My grandpa wants you to inflate him. Can you just put your lips on my balloon and blow that shit up? Thank you for calling the police department. <laughs> she laughed. That's all. That's the goal. Just make people laugh. Here, pretend like someone's fucking me. Pretend oh, like God. someone's fucking Mallory, me. how can I help you? Oh, help! Oh, 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 he's oh, fucking oh, me! Oh. It feels... Oh, Scott, how can I help you? It feels really good. Oh, oh your butthole's so tight. Thank you for calling Ludovine. Hi. Do you Hi, have a beef help? abortion? I'm this sorry? called the beef what? abortion? I'm sorry? Get your finger out of there. Hello? The beef abortion? Hello. You have the I'm beef so abortion. Um, we do have large portions, yes. Oh, what about the beef abortion? Can you I get mean, your I'm finger out of there, my ass? really large, I would say. Okay. Uh, uh, All right. All right. Is is that your finger? Yeah. Yeah, just think it's your finger. Uh, Yeah. uh, One large beef aboard. I got got another. Yeah, um, I'm afraid I left one of my balls there. Can you check under the table? It's It's a little ball. Yeah, I'll check for a little bitty one. Thank you for calling Patrona. Oh, yeah. I'm speaking. How may I help you? Hey, I left my you... balls there. Can you grab it, please? Talk to my yeah. husband. Hey, Pater- Paterno, is this like the, the guy from Penn State who let the the kitty diddler be a coach for a while? Joe okay. Paterno, is he there? Yeah, no, definitely not. Is Joe Paterno there? <laughs> no. Why not? Yeah, why not is Joe kid. Paterno not there? Uh, no, what, why is he not there other than the fact that he's dead? What yeah, other reason but, could you have? You think you're so smart? Um, yeah. I think it's because he's dead. You think you got, you think you got <laughs> the think thinks and the knowledge? Mother, mother bitch? You think you're so know. fucking smart, dude? I just yeah. work here, See, you're, you, everybody's a smart guy until there's a dick in their butt. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, I mean, we're both college-educated men. At least, <laughs> at least we can agree on that. Definitely. I hope you have a great night, though. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, quick, quick, quick question. I don't want to call. Hey, we're so. calling Charleston's on South Meridian. This is Michael. Yeah, you wish. Hello? Yeah. Tell me your real name. Who's this? My name is Dwight, and I want your real name, because Michael sounds like the name of a pre-ejaculator, and I don't want to talk to a man like that. You really, you really... The Metro. Hey, hey yeah, I was in there eating, and one of your waitresses, I, I told her, I said, this food doesn't smell right. 
she looked at me and said, oh, yeah? And I said, yes. And she turned around, bent over, put her butt kind of like towards the food and spread her cheeks and farted on my on my plate. And I just want to let you know I didn't appreciate that shit. The Metro. My husband saw the whole thing. He's right here. He'll tell you about it. Yeah. The the waitress presented she pre, she was presenting and then she passed she passed gas through her rectum and gave us both pink eye. Are you calling the Metro Wine what Bar and Bistro? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the you know the waitress Kimberly? We have nobody named Kimberly here. Well, she it's probably she started you. with a K, yeah. She 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 was opening our wine bottle, but she bent over too far and she farted in our face and gave us pink eye. It was probably her, honey. I think you have the wrong restaurant. Okay, okay. But did, did you have a, you ever had an abortion? Thank I don't you want to play about Michael, myself. Can I can help you. That tickles. Blue Highway, this is Shanice. How can I help you? Listen, get your pen and paper. I need to get some meat inside of me quick. We are actually closed down for the evening. Oh, what, what are you, throat guzzling all the meat? Keeping it all to yourself, you hussy? I, I want meat. What's for cafe? Hi, I'm a pervert. Can you guys shove some meat in my ass? I'm sorry. We're I'm sexual pervert. perverts. I just put meat in our asses. Put a big fat piece of meat in my mouth. Um, yeah, yeah. Can you repeat that for me one more time? Put a big ass piece of meat in my yeah. mouth. In in my toes. Toes. Well, yeah, are you having a hard time with that? Have you? I'm sorry, we're so rude. Have you had an abortion before? I think you might have. Yeah, I aborted you out of my ass. Ah, very scientific. So smart. Did you graduate high school? I did, actually. What did you, some type of like, college girl or something? Did uh, you I guess smart? we could say that. Yeah. What do you have a degree in? Gender studies? Why don't you shut up and get back to work at a restaurant? I think you actually got your master's in gender studies. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm not you. So don't project your insecurities you're onto me. me. Thank you. Oh, I, I think you're projecting, Kay. I'm not, baby. I think you are, sir. I'm not, honey. I think you are. No, no, baby. That's not me at all. I think all I'm right. one of the smartest well, people on the planet. Ah. I've been found. I think you're pissing us off. I'm missing Talk you. Talk to my wife. Talk to my wife. Talk right. to my wife. Yeah. Oh. I'll see you at church. Ah. Do you give me a hand job there? So you have had an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Borders, West my 10. This is Carly. Hi, Carly. Hello. I thought I should tell you the test came back positive. For? You know, the condition. The condition? Yes. Who is it? Positive. It's me. Who's you? I'm sorry, I don't know who this is over the phone. It's Jason. Jason? Jason? Yeah. Jason, Jason, Jason. Jason. Jason, wait. Yeah. What te- what test? Like a COVID test? Yeah, for the thing. I think you're. The third I'm... line was the third line was really weak though. Jason, that I'm sorry. I marginal. don't know who you are. Wait, Jason. I, I, remind me. Wait, I don't remember anyone telling me this. What do you what do you mean? I'm sorry, you know, were you we like met at the thing? Met at what thing? The party. 
I don't go to parties. Is this a prank? No. I don't go to parties. And so I guess it's, it's more of a gathering than a party. Gathering? Yeah. Where? At the house. I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong person. No, I don't. Um, okay. Okay. Maybe you should get tested, too. Just want to let everyone know. The get to, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, like, so confused right now. I, I don't know if I'm you're saying you should probably get tested, too. Okay. Okay. Have All a right. Good day. Sorry about that. Jason. <laughs> huh? your, your mic sounds way better, Turbo. Okay, so now we hung up you. Hi, do you have the budget beef? Um. The, the skim skirt beef uh, labia? No, sir. Oh, you got the budget chicken? No, sir. Is there a man there I can talk to? Because he was telling me about the budget meats that you got at the end of the night. Do you know his name? No, I haven't got a clue. I'm I'm a vagrant. I live behind the alleyway. I come by at night, but you guys have locked up your dumpsters sometimes, so I can't get in there anymore. Yeah. But I got some money here, and I, I got to get some... Alfonso uh, Labia. Okay, give me one second, okay? All right, thank you, dear. Thank you for calling the Point Restaurant in Sweet Home. This is Gabriel. How can I help you? Hey, hey, Gay, how are you? Hello, this is the Point Restaurant in Sweet Home. Hello? This is Gabriel. How can I help you? Hey, yeah, Gay, I, I am calling about my order. What order? A food order? What, what was the order? For food? Is this Gay? No, this is Gabriel. Yeah, Gay, I ordered Hambu. Um, yeah, we don't have no to-go orders. Yeah, I ordered it on, on DoorDash, but it was for Gay. Gay Dash. Hello, asshole. This is Sunny. How can I help Hello. you? Hello. Hey, hey I'm, I'm Cher. You? How are you? I'm good. I'm calling about my order of Hambu. Um, you don't have any orders. I, I have an order for Hambu. Hambu? Did you Hambu. call it in? Okay, did you call it yeah. in? Yeah. Mm, well, no, yeah, on the dash. On the DoorDash. Um, Hambu. We don't we don't have DoorDash. This is the Point Restaurant and Sweet Home. Yeah, I wanted one egg. I wanted a chicken abortion. We don't have we don't do eggs in the evenings. Why not? Are you too stupid? Yep. All right. I mean, you got me. All right, we'll talk to you later. You, Bye. All right, you're not my, you're not my sister. I'm not your sister. Yeah, you're not. You can't yeah. claim that you are. So stop it. Okay. Goodbye. Max Herbert from America. Yeah. I'm help you. I'm a sex pervert from America. Sorry. Uh, we're, we're sex perverts from the Americas. Americas? I'm a sex pervert from America. Yeah, we're sex perverts. We want to do we want to do pervert things in your room. What's the room number? Two fifteen. Yeah, tell me we what the big, problem. We, we have our willies got stuck in the sink. Our willies are stuck. Wheel? 
our willies, our penis willy, it got stuck. We were trying to free it, like the movie. Okay, remote stuck? Yeah. I got I got my penis stuck in the sink. My friend has the remote in his ass. Hello? Hello? Get it out of there. Hi. It's it's inside. It's inside. It's outside. Get your finger out of there. Ah. So what do you need? His tongue is in the socket. Socket? Yeah, the tongue is in the socket. Oh. What's happened? I'm not getting... Just covered the friend desk. We can't because it's inside. Oh. Uh. Uh. What happened? Can I... Uh... Penetration. My part, penetration my part happens. It's stuck yeah. in the sex hole. You know, sex and hole in room. Can't move. You know. He knows. He knows. Oh, I'm sorry. We're so rude, too. Have you had an abortion, sir? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 69.4. <laughs> Hi, can I talk to the asshole in 110? Don't have a 110 room number. What room do you have that's close to 10? Don't have a 10 at all. Okay, well, wh what's the lowest number room then plus 5? Hello? Don't, don't. Don't hang up, motherfucker. Hello. Hi. Can I help you? Hi. Hello. I, there's very disturbing things coming from the room next door. Um, oh. I don't know how to describe it. It's very... Uh -huh. a lot of, <laughs> they're being very loud. Very, uh -huh. very loud. Uh -huh. Okay. And what room are you? Uh -huh. I'm in 215. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right or left? Huh? Is left. it like front of the door, left? Left, oh. left down, up, yeah. down, A, B, A, B, oh. select yeah. start. Oh. Hey, Dwight! Yeah. You want okay, to do I'll go and check it out There's for you. Okay. There's a gay man knocking on my door asking me to join, and he knows my name. You, you want to join us, Dwight? <laughs> you want to join us? <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'll check on that noise oh, for, for you. And if it's on half the room, that if you want to. Open the yard. Open the yard. Open the yard. I got Thanks. an idea. Calling Cuba Super 8. My name's Erica. How can I There's help you? There's weird sounds coming from the door next door. There's weird sounds. <laughs> Put it in. What room are you in? Do you hear that shit? What is in there? Thank you for calling Cuba Super 8. My name's Erica. How can I help you this evening? What are you, special? This man right you here. the front desk? This man right here, he said you licked his ass, and I'm mad because I want my ass licked too. That long fucking sigh. <laughs> Hello, we are Mecca. What? Merrimack River. What? Yeah, but, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. But why? Thank you for calling Days in by Wyndham and Roland, Missouri. How may I help you? Roland? What was that? Roland? Roland, Roland. can you hear me? I believe Rhonda? you have the wrong number. This is Days in. This is the hotel.
This is the hotel. Yes, I'm sorry. I just I couldn't hear your name. I apologize. What can I do for you? Christ. Oh, hi. I had a question um, regarding, like, if I was in the lobby and stuff, and if people were, like, saying that I was drunk, like, would there be some kind of, like, a test or, like, a way of me to, like, uh, kind of uh, prove, exonerate myself from the accusation? Uh, I am not quite right. sure, to be honest. I've never been asked this. Uh-huh. Huh. Mm. It's happened before. And there was a lady looking at me. I felt like she did something because then people were coming to my room and you know, knocking and you know, coming at me. Uh, as far as I know, it should be no problem. As long as you're of the legal drinking age and uh, you're not like belligerent or anything like that, you should be fine. No, no, no. Okay, but um, if I wanted to vibe with some lobby buddies, that'd be all right? Um, our lobby closes at 11. So, I mean, until 11, it's, it's okay. Okay. Um, and my, yeah, all I've had tonight is mouthwash. I don't believe we uh, carry mouthwash. No, I carried I my have... own. Oh, okay. I'm not my own. Um, where's the best place to, you know, to um, smoke the the herbs? Um, there's a little bench area, like out in the grass area, or if not, just wherever there's a wherever there's an ashtray, it's legal to smoke because of the simple fact that uh, we recre- we recreationalized marijuana. So when we re- when we uh, went recreational, yeah. that means um, anywhere that you could smoke a cigarette, you could legal you you can legally smoke marijuana. Fuck yeah! So you you know all the spots. And like, if someone like gonna, if I were smoking you something, you want to come and have a little with us? Ooh. What was that? You want to come and have a little with us? You sound cool, I'm sorry. man. I'm sorry, I got to work tomorrow. Oh, but uh, we can give you some mess. That'll that'll help you get a lot of work done. Uh, no, I don't partake in that. No, well, it, it's worth it's worth a try. Uh, no. It's organic homemade. It's blue. Yeah, it's blue. It's blue. What was that? It's blue. It's blue. The first time uh, you spark up, it's the best. I cleaned my whole house. I I just don't partake in that. I've seen a lot of addiction, and it kind of oh. ruined a lot of my family. The first hit feels um it it hits it's free like Nancy Reagan warned you about, and then like and then I got. Eight abortions in two days. Have you ever had an abortion? Is releasing something. Crispy. If you know your party's room number, please enter it now. Uh, the front you were using button. your name as caller ID earlier, Chris. Baymont, can I help you? Hello? Hey, I tested positive. What? And they told me to call everyone. I tested positive and they t- told me to call everyone. Who told you what? This is I Demont tested Hotel. positive. I know. Pos- I know. I tested yeah, positive, positive for what? and they told me to tell everyone. Positive for because what? Because I tested positive. Okay, what do you test positive? For what condition? The condition. Listen to me. I the just, condition. The condition. You're not What's listening. Kind? The condition. The condition. I hear you. The condition. Okay, I heard you. Know you know what is condition? The no. The condition. Okay. Yeah, the condition. You okay. want to look it up in the dictionary? 
No. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey. Don't say I didn't tell you. The resort at Lake Ozarks is Lacey. Can I help you? Lacey, I tested positive. For what? The condition. What condition? The abortion condition. Oh, okay. okay. Are you what okay with this Yeah, news? what can I help you with? Well, I had the beef abortion at the, the dinner place. You know, where they had the food, and they cooked it with heat. And they kept telling me, yes, it's a big portion, it's a big portion, but I asked for the beef abortion. Okay. A big beef, bueno abortion. Okay. With the red sauce. Where at? Are you talking about the Encore? Yeah. And they told me to call you because you had rooms where you have abortion rooms. Abortion rooms? Yeah, they said that you had an abortion there. We have rooms. Yeah, but no, they said you. You had you had the abortion. No. Is that right? <laughs> no, that's oh. not right. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Yeah. I have a veiny bulge condition. That's me. Can I help you with something, sir? Do you need a room? Yeah, a big beef abortion room. Okay, I'm trying room. to... Okay, I'm checking people in. Did you need to get a room for tonight, though? Yeah, uh, how, I have four people with me. Okay. And one beefy abortion. Do you really need a room, sir? Yes. Okay, and are you checking out tomorrow or Sunday? I'll be checking you out. Now let me put my brother You should on. probably hang up the phone. That's how you handle it. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to. I mean, we have rooms. If you guys need rooms, I can help you with that, but I can't help with the rest. Okay. We'll totally go in there and get rooms. It won't be awkward at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> did you Did you want to book rooms or no? No. Okay. Thank you. Hang up. Okay. Lodge four seasons front desk. Hi, I'm calling about the docking. Docking? Yeah, I'm uh, on a dock. Uh, uh give me one second to see who I have to get a hold of. Oh uh, docking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, docking. The four seasons. Percentage start thrusters via. Previous representative will be with you in just a moment. The fish are Hello. inside my room. Thank you for calling Super Seven Home after you. Hi, the fish are in my room. They came in my room. They walked in. There's fish Sorry, labia what? everywhere. There's fish, Hello. fish labia everywhere in my room. Which room are you talking from? This room, the bathroom. Which room are you in, sir? The bencho room. Can I have your room number? 215. That's where we are. We're inside there. And the I'm fish sorry, came out no, of the water. I'm sorry, there is no room at our property with the number 215. You might have called the wrong number. Was it one? The one one? And the Can zeros? I have your name? Yeah, it's Johnson. No, sir, there is no guest in our, uh, with that name at our property. Yeah, you might have called big, the wrong property. You know, Big Gand? I think she got that one. Thank you for calling the award winning Cup Freedom today. This is Stephanie. How may I help you? Do you have a big belly? What? Do you have a big belly? Cumberland, this is Stephanie. How may I help you? Yeah, Steffi, move to the left. Move your big belly to the left. I'm trying to see something. To the left, to the left. 
Move, move to the left. Move to the left. Move your belly. And the goiter. Move that as well. Goiter on your neck. Yeah. yeah. Six months old. It's the belly front desk. How can I help you? Hey, Hi. big belly bitch. Hello. 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 Hey, were you the one with the goiter on your neck? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you the one with yeah, the, yeah. Are you the one with the big belly? Okay. What can I do for you? Uh, how many How many abortions belly. have you had? Are you pregnant? Everybody's what looking for you. Like this is country again. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? How you doing there, redneck ass? I'm good. Hello. Hello. Good. good. You got room? How, listen, motherfucker. If I have to say it one more, get out of the shit. Hello. I'm doing it. Hello. Hello, Ben. Hello, Ben Chod. Bolo. Yeah. Do you Chod? Are you out of your brain? No, are you out of your sister's pussy? You Terry Maki Chut? How about how about yourself? Where you came from? No, this, right up I from come the sky. From your mother. No, from your mother's pussy. Mama, what do you want to eat? You, you understand? You know where you, you come from? You, you don't, hey, you don't teach your father how. You don't teach your bab how to fuck. Okay, you don't look at my lund and teach me how to fuck. Did you did you fuck your mother? No, I'm not Christian. Terry Makichut. Voice the K. You do Bancho. the same. You do the same. Whatever you say, you do the no, same. No. Thank you, sir. No, no, Mara Chod. Thank you. Ben Chod, Mara Chod. Asshole. You have a sick asshole mind. Fuck. No, you are an asshole fuck. You freak. You're an idiot. You just said that I'm rubber and you're glue. Yeah. And your wife, your wife, sending bad signals to her. Wendy's. Hi. Asshole. There's a cat here, and he's in my room, and he says Hello? he works for you. Hi. 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 There's a man here. He's a kitty cat, and he's telling me he works for you, and he needs, you know, he needs to be fed. He said that you have a can of food for him to be fed, but he's asking me to like deliver it to him. Mm-hmm. He needs the fancy feast, the one with the lund on it, not the one with the gand. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Do you have the food for the cat, the kitty cat man? Man with the cat. I don't think anybody is here with the cat. No, no, no. It's a man, but he's he's dressed like a cat. He's a kitty cat man. I don't know. He has a lot of fur on his body, and he has a tail. He's a kitty cat I man. I told you I don't know anybody by that. No, he's a he's a man. Like you, with your lund. Oh. Thank you for calling the award-winning Comfort in Warrensburg. This is Tracy. How may I help you? What's Hello? your name? My name is What's Tracy. Name? It's Comfort Ann. How may I help you? Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm writing this down. I, I forget a lot of things if I don't write it down. You say Tracy? Yes. Okay. Tra- that's with a T, right? Yes. Is that an E Y or just a Y? Uh, it's an I E. I E I E. I'm such a fucking idiot. I E. I'm sorry if I offended you. Um, it's okay. How can I help you? And, um. Uh, let's see. I got this rocked out. And how many abortions did you have? What? So this is a place how, of business. I, you're right, right. Place of I, I, I like to know people on a personal level before I give them money. No, this is a place of business. 
Have a good night. Yeah, I don't. I understand that. And you book people to fuck you, and then they come back for abortion. <laughs> Me at the wasted show thing where someone's reaching in the toilet while someone's using it. Hello? So, Hi. Hi, I'm using the toilet and there's a man reaching in. He's reaching in. Hello? Hi, I'm using your toilet and he's reaching in. Uh, we don't have any toilets, uh, so. Yeah, get on the phone with him. Brad Ransberg, how may I help you? Hey, uh, can you help me? Sorry? Can you help me? How can I help you? Help me, uh, help me, help me get inside of your sister. Your sister? I want to be, in, I want to be inside of her. You were calling me, how can I help you today? Hello. Hi. This is Conal Yeah, this is Conal Uh How many abortions have you had? What do you say? How many abortions have you had? What do you say? Abortions? How many? Abortions? Specifically gone abortions. Uh, I, I, I don't know. My it, English is not good. They go and do the con. Uh, anal abortion and, and, in the hotel room. And toad abortion. I need to make an make anal. Why? I, I guess. I see. I guess I am. Help? Hi. How many abortions have you had? What? How many abortions have you had? Are you kidding me? No, I'm asking an honest question. America's best by him. Listen, it's a simple fucking question. How many abortions have you had? It's a yes or no question. Not not that hard. How many abortions have I had? How many abortions have you had? Abortions? Is that what you're asking me? Yes, sir. Me? Abortions. Yes, sir. How many have you had? I've had five. I, I don't believe in abortions. Why would you call an... I'm, I, this is a motel. Why are you calling somebody asking that question? We're simply trying to figure out how many abortions you've had for research purposes and shut out. Fucking no. It's on the phone. See, my husband has had several and... It's on the form. I don't. I don't believe in abortions. Never had one. I've raised all my kids. Never had an abortion. Did he financially support them as long as they needed it, or? No, I don't believe in. I wouldn't support anybody's abortion. No, no. I'm talking about your kids that you you refused to abort. Did you? Did you support them? You know, like until they could. You know, get out on their own with the job and everything, or did you yeah, tell kid, them to get the fuck out? No, my kids. No, my my kids live beyond. Yeah, they all my kids have moved out. Is that the question you want to? Is that the question? Or is that the answer? I'm not sure. Thank you for calling my place independence. Hey, how you doing? I need to book a room uh, real quick for uh, after abortion care. All right. Um, what date would you need? Oh, we're looking for the opt. Let's see. She's going to be eight months on the 30th, uh, the 29th. Of March? Uh, yeah. All right. And would it be just one bed? Uh, yeah, unless you got something cheaper. Uh, that's our cheapest, so. All right, yeah, that, that'll be fine. All right, um, for that, for that night, uh, it would be after tax 126.85. Okay, that, that's fine. It's a cheap price to pay. Me and my sister made a mistake. 
Fair enough. Uh, was, what was this? There was a whole there was a there was a whole camp. She was um, experimenting with females. I went to the camp with her to show support. Uh, we started talking about the the bond of Jesus and God. Uh, you know, with his mother Mary. <laughs> Shit happened. What about like an abortion friendly hotel where we can conduct them? Can it with sweets? I'm gonna help you. Hey, um, hey. I'm no, yeah. sorry, doctor. No, go no. Ahead. Well, I'm not a doctor. Well, not yet. Um, we're a little from the local Democrat office, and uh, we have these abortion flyers where I actually perform a free abortion. Can we hang a few up in your lobby? Unfortunately, I do not believe so. You'd have to check with the manager in the morning, but I don't think that's possible. Okay. What okay. do you think the penalty would be from the hotel if I hung them up in the hallway um, without permission? You wouldn't be allowed to do that, sir. You'd have to check with the manager in the morning. Okay. Well, I'm here now in the hallway. I was just asking before I taped the first one up to the wall. No, I don't think you can do that. Uh, it's already done. Well, I'm sorry. Then you'd have to take it down. I'm going to put another one up. Well, I'm sorry. They'll have to be taken down. Thanks. All right, we'll put another one up. Thank you for calling the best restaurant from Mayor. We're still with people who care. My name is Joanne. How can I help you? I don't. I don't give. A, I don't give a fuck. Hello. I'm here. Oh, sorry. I, w I was talking to the cab driver. You, you do you believe he won't break it? He won't break a fifty. He thinks I'm giving all this tip. You know. Forty five dollars. I want my five I want my five dollars back. He thinks he's getting a five dollar tip out of me. No. No bullshit. So listen, uh I need I need a room because this guy he won't take me to the other the hotel that I have a booking at. So I gotta get a booking with you guys because he won't move an inch. He says no more. No more not another foot, he says. Okay, um what's your last name? My last name is going to be Johnson, but with two N's, J-O-H-N-S-O-N-N. -N. Okay. And you're wanting to book with us? Yeah, yeah, because this, this uh, part of part of my French, but this this mf or this this stupid this stupid mf or he won't he won't he says no more. He's he, right outside. We're sitting. Oh no. Yeah, he, okay, he, yeah, and like I, I, I keep trying to give him the fifty, and he keeps, he keeps saying that he doesn't have change, he doesn't have change, and he says you, he says you got to come out and pay him now. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so sorry about that. He says he knows you. He says you'll come out and pay him. He knows me. Yeah, that's what he keeps saying. He goes, oh, call her, call her. She'll come give me money. She'll write me a check. No. I, well, you see, hey, guy, she says no. She says you're a, you're a liar. He won't unlock the door. He won't let me out. That's the thing. He has the, he has the child locks on. He won't let me out of the goddamn back seat. He says you got to come out and pay him or he won't let me out. We're going to go for a ride. Yeah, I don't know any cab drivers. His his name is his name is Charlie. He says Charlie. I don't think it's his real name though, because he doesn't look like he doesn't look like a Charlie. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know a Charlie. Yeah, I always, he keeps referring to you as a throat goat and a and a dick pig, and he he won't let me out. I don't I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. Yeah, he's like called the dick pig at the front desk, and so I called, but he won't let me out. And he says, you need to come pay him, or, or I go. He says, I go. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't know, but he doesn't seem to have a lot of respect for women, in my opinion. Oh. I think, he, I think, he, I think he's a Republican. Oh. Yeah. And, I, you know, I support you and your right to choose. I mean, even if you wanted to have an abortion, and I don't even know you, but I would support you in that decision. Right. Yeah. So uh, I, don't, I don't know how I get out of this situation with this guy. I don't know. I don't know who he is. 
I, I don't own either. He says he'll only he'll only release me if you come out and tell him how many abortions you've had. That's none of his business. Well, I agree, but I don't know how he's going to let me out. He's changed from wanting money to wanting to know how many abortions you've had. Yeah, um... Yeah, that's weird. He, he, he said he wants to see your C-section scar. He keeps putting notes up to the glass. Okay. So are you gonna help, or what? What am I? What do I tell him? What do I say? What do I do? I have no idea. Okay. So you're gonna come help? How am I gonna help you? You gotta come tell him how many abortions you've had. He doesn't need to know. Well, I know that, but that doesn't mean he's gonna let me go until he finds out. I think he has a kink. Just give me a number I can relay to him. None. Hi, she says you? not. He he just he lied. That's him. That's it. That's him. That's him. That's that's him. Okay. Can you hold on one second, please? No, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma that's him. That's him. What? That's him. He got out. Like when I told him none, he got out and he went. That's him. You're freaking me out. No, that's him. Just tell him so he'll come let me out. Tell who? That guy right there. That's him. I heard his voice. Okay, hang on one second. Okay. Oh, you just want to extend one more day? Oh. What happened? What happened? The abortion had happened, but what happened to the baby? Bill he Yeah, what happened to the baby in the room? What happened? <laughs> this is not a hospital. No, it's a hotel. What happened? We're in the room, we have abortion. What happened? Hello? Bill he Hello? This is a hotel. A totally this is person. not a hospital. You need it's to call a totally hospital different and person. Again. Stupid. Don't call here again. It's a ho. It's a hotel. It's a. It's a hotel. Hello, Van Morton. Hello. Hey, how you doing? This is this is the Big Boat Mosh. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. And you're too. Hi. I'm fine. I'm looking. This is your bop, and I'm looking for my Lund. What? Yeah, your 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 mother your mother is looking for your bops lund. What is that? I didn't get it. You you know you know about Terry Maki Chut, you mother chod? <laughs> he got it that time. What? Something's peeling off. What? Thank you for calling Days In. This is Fair. How may I help you? Uh, hello? hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello? How many abortions? Yeah, me and my friend had a, have a bed up here. We both saw you when we checked in. How may I help you? Yeah, the context was, how many abortions did you have? Pardon? How many abortions have you had? Who is this? Are we talking? Thank you for calling Daisy and how may I help you? Hello, Hello? how many abortions have you had? It's a simple question. I, I'm 
Hi, there's a man in here, and oh boy, that that echo on your line, that there's something fierce. Well, yes, I, I put my brother on, cause he was he was urinating and I was pooing at the same time, cause we don't got enough toilets in here. Our cabin in. How can I help you? Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. I can pee. I help you? I beg I your pardon? Pee. I got a piss. <laughs> I beg your I beg That's call motor. Is it come help you? How many abortions? Yeah. Hello? Hey, okay, would you like to know how many abortions you'd have? My Sorry? husband and I. How many abortions have you had? Hello? I've had six. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I barely hear you. Okay. How many gone abortions have you had? Sorry? Gone abortions, you know? You know the gone abortion? No. How many no. times have you had how many times have you had a baby aborted from your gone? I got recording all stuff going on and I got your number, don't worry. Water showed. What kind of machine are you, you recording with? You want to put your water in your water? Hey, what's that? Water showed. 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 Mother works on GB Road. Banchot? Gandu? Come on, teach us more. We don't know enough. You need help getting out of that hole, sir? Thanks, Squad Motor 6. Today, six. come help you. Oh, my. Hello. Listen, um, did this win- does this window in my room open? Sorry? The window in my room, does it open? What's your room number? Oh, I'm in, I'm in 215, bro. Uh, 215? No, there is no window that can open. It's a fix. Oh, I'm, oh, I've been smoking so many marijuanas in here. There's so much smoke. Oh. Are you sure? Are you sure this window doesn't open? No. All right, hang on. Right, let me pull on it. You said it doesn't. No. All right, let me. Tr- oh shit! I broke the window, bro. Oh fuck! The window's open now. Don't worry. Oh. I got you. Number three six four two zero two eight zero six nine. It's helped me to give the cops. Oh. No, you want to come up and smoke it. smoke weed? Nobody in 215, tell so don't worry, I got your number. Tell, tell, tell the cops to bring that drug dog, because I can't find my stash, bro. Bring the abortion tools, too. Bring yeah, your I'm girlfriend to for me, okay? I'm smoking umbilical cord, Bring bro. your mother to it. Yeah, bring your mother to it, please. It's Yeah, bring your mother to it and prevent your gone dead or death. Okay, thank you. I'm keep talking with you. Asshole. Ass, yes. asshole. Thank asshole. you. Present your abortion at our doorstep. Yeah. Yeah. They're checking yeah. on you. Okay. Don't worry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's, he's calling the cops. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Down the phone, sir. Yeah, put down the phone, asshole. Asshole. Hello, asshole. I'm going to shit in this room like it's the streets of India. Make you feel at home. I'm going to, I'm going to piss down the stairs so it's like a, it's like a brisk waterfall. I'm going to come down there and freshen you up just like the day you were born. You were born on GB Road.
call. Is the monitor code still on the line? Monitor code poncho. I don't know if he fell down the stairs. Well, that's that's one method of getting an abortion, but I don't know if I'd recommend it. If you need to fall down the stairs to get an abortion, then I suggest seeking seeking other methods. Yeah. Thank you for calling the Homewood Suites by Hilton. Homewood Suites. Good morning. Thanks for calling the Homewood Suites and Daphne. This is Daniel speaking. I'm my you. I never heard of Southern Gay before. How long you work there? This is Homewood Suites. Yeah, Homo Homo Suites. Yeah, I, I heard. Homewood. Um, Homewood you, Suites. Yeah, Homo Homo Suites. I know. That's why I called. What are the rates for uh, two weeks from now on the twenty fifth? Oh, let's see. So what day are you checking out? Uh, uh, let's see, 25th. I'm going to stay until Wednesday the 29th. Oh. So you're looking at $170 per night. So we'll finish this. You're looking at six forty one, six hundred and forty one dollars. Okay, and then what type of forms of payment do you take? We only take credit card, debit or credit. Okay. Uh, okay. Major or because because I got one of the I got one of these green card apps from or uh, the cards from Walmart. You them that should work. It's just gonna be a, a debit card, but that should work. Uh, but how much? What do you mean? How much? It'd be six hundred forty-one dollars. It um, it'll post out fifteen percent hold. I'm not sure if it'll do that or not. But do you, um, do you, lately, do you it take has it all not. Do you, take it, do you take it all at once? Yes, sir. We take it at the, the um, when checking in. Okay, and do I have to bring my proof of being a homo to stay here? A who? A homo, a homosexual. To stay at the um, homo hotel. I'm not sure. That would be a question I would have to ask my manager. Okay, because I have a card. I, I'm a part of the National Homos Association of America, and okay. I'll, I'll bring it in to prove it. But but okay. I don't. I, I've never had a place actually tell me I had to prove it before. Yeah, I mean, lately, I mean, we've never had nobody here that uh, from that um, organization or anything. So, I mean, you should be good. Mm-hmm. No, you just. Book your room and and just move on forward. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I'll book it, and then when it, like it's booked, what do I do then? Like, how do how do I come in? You just um the day of your check in, you just come in at three o'clock. Just check in at three. Okay. Okay, but but I want to let you know right now, I'm a married man, and I know my rights, and I I do I will not be able to fuck any other man unless I consent. I know my rights. So again, I know my gay rights, and you can't force me to fuck on another man unless I want to. Okay, I know my rights. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, let me put you on hold for a second. I have a guest in front of me. Ah, right, yeah. <laughs> Good evening, delighted to serve this Kim. How may I assist you? Hey, Cole, hey, how I need are to you? Con- consult with the toilet machines. Is it going to be okay if my husband takes this call? All right. Hey, how how are you, come? How can I assist you? Uh, well, we're in, we're inquiring about getting the room that we uh, vacationed here on our honeymoon, and we're trying to see if we can get the same room for tonight. No, 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 no. We would never uh, Im- imposition you like that. Uh, two weeks, two weeks from. Oh, um. 20, 20, you'd 20 have to days. make the reservation. What room did you go into? 
Uh, we were in 110. 110. Make the reservation, call me back, and then I can assure that you can get in 110. All right? Well, can, can, we, get, can we guarantee to get 110? Because we butt-fucked in there. We want to do it again. I could do my best. I was Okay, because I was an ass-to-mouth ass virgin before I met him. And then, like, he really turned, he really shook the foundation that I was brought up on. Uh, I really, I'm that. Catholic. I was brought, I was brought up Catholic, and it's, and, you know, Lent started last week. And I'm sorry, sir. So, I'm very busy here at the front desk. Yeah. Make the reservation. Give me a call back, and I will try and do everything I can sure to get you into that room. Okay. 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 One last thing, though. Um. Ever since Lent started, I am bisexual because I'm not supposed to be eating meat on Fridays. So how about that fish? They have fish here. They have plenty of fish here in Mobile. Oh, yeah. I'm talking I, about your I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very, very busy. I apologize. I'm talking about I do have to let vagina. you go. I'm talking about... It's one of their own. This is a wonderful day at Mobile Marriott. This is Quan Lisa speaking. How may I fish you tonight? Hi, how many abortions have you had? I'm sorry, say it again, sir? I, I'm simply asking how many abortions you've had. Can you repeat that for me one more time? I can be hard to hear you, sir. Sure, no problem. How many abortions have you had? Say that, sir, hold on. Say that one more time. Sure, no problem. How many abortions have you had? Okay, here. Okay. No. Good evening. Thanks for calling Mobile Marriott. This is Jerry. Hi. Hello. Hello, madam. You hung up on my associate. We're from the Abortion Census Bureau, and we're taking a tally of local abortions. Uh, how many can we write you up for? Uh, I actually just answered the phone. I never hung up on anybody. How can I help you? Oh, you couldn't hear him. You couldn't abortion. hear him. Uh, well, we're calling from the Abortion Census Bureau, and uh, we're taking a quick census about the local abortions in the area. How many can we pencil you down for? Uh, about 13. 13. And uh, how many were of uh, as of today? Are you counting towards the future, or have you had all of these all at once? I had all of them at once. It just they were just coming back to back. And well, I no, 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 no. Well, that's what. No, that's impossible. I mean, did you have a total of them? How many? Thirteen over how many years? Um, thirteen over about twelve. About twelve years. That was yeah. thir you. Had, you had thirteen over twelve years. What well, was there twins involved? Um, like triplets. Yeah. When I found that I was having three, I couldn't do that. Not at one time. Not at one time. Okay. No, All right. I go ahead. All right. Let me go here. Okay, then high score. All right, great. You have yeah. score. You have now penciled in the highest score. All right. And would you like to play for double jeopardy? Um. Uh. What about triple? Can I do triple? Triple double jeopardy. Oh, now you're speaking my language. I like a woman. All right. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Roll the dice and tell me what you roll the dice and tell me what you come up with. Twelve. Six I'm sorry, that's a that, that's a that's a loss. You're not going to get your next one free, uh, but we can do half price. Okay, okay then. All right. Well, I got my two sides, so I'm good. I ain't worried about they they tied, burnt, and laid. What, what did you what? Oh, you did get them burnt and lasered. Burnt, pulled out, you know, all type of stuff. I ain't worried about no more. Well, you, I don't need no remember, more. Remember, I, ain't, I ain't worried about that free one. Yeah. Where you were back in the day? But you remember, but you remember that guy Antonio Cromartie? Uh, he played for the Jets. He had a vasectomy, and then he had eight kids after that. No. So men with super sperm can can make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you did you know that the longer after you've had your tubes tied and lasered, the more likely you're going to get pregnant and you're going to have an inner tubal pregnancy? Oh, they they pull it out, baby. I ain't got no tubes. I ain't got no tubes. No, no, no. There's there's they're still there. There's nubs. There's nubs. Kind of like I'm not even going to go there. No, never mind. We're, never, we're I I was about to cross the line and I'm I got to stop. Okay. Okay. But it, just so you. Knobs, but you, you know, 
people that weren't all the li- limb knobs don't have all the nah, the limbs. I ain't got you know, no like tools. On a woman. I yeah, see like you look at that. I, I, I put mine in my jar. I, it's by my bed. I keep did it by my bed. Did they take? Did they take your nipple tubes too? They took it all. Everything is in a jar on the side of my bed. Is it until they until they learn how to uh, cure abortions, like they're doing with Disney's head? They kind of just froze it. And they're like, hey, when we learn how to cure abortions, we're going to bring your tubes back and we're going to put them back in. Oh, oh no. That, when I look at those tubes, I'll be like, thank you, Lord. Because, you know, I'd have had a whole bunch of children by now. You know, but he blessed That's me with why? him. You know, and I just. Why? I, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why would you have a bunch of children by now? Are, are you. How many I times have, a week do I you have? I have like 13 oh, abortions. No, no. How many, how many times a week are you fucking if. if like you would have had a bunch of children by now. Hey, hey, sir, hey, now that is personal. No, no. Oh, whoa, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just saying by you saying it's personal, I'm gonna guess those are those are uh, amateur numbers, and you're gonna have to pump those up. Hey. How can I help you? I mean, right right now you're talking nun status, but we're gonna have to get you up to dick pig status. You just can't just let people eat. Huh? I can hear that. When they be talking, don't they? Well, all right, sir. I got guests in front of me. Is there anything else I can help you with? <laughs> Hi, you got some tubes there? We got some budget beef in the room. We're making sandwiches. You want one? No, thank you. Tube beef? The tube beef is here. She's sucking on my meat, Franks. Budget beef, sir. Thanks for choosing Daisy. How can I help you? Hello. Hi, I've got a question for you. Yeah, please go ahead. How many pubic hairs do you have? Say it again, my bad. How many abortions have you had? Sir? I mean, can Hello? you speak clearly? I can hear your voice. There is a disturbance. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How many abortions yeah, yeah, have you had through your talk? Can you speak like you know, that? I mean, I you, think that is the voice on me. Can you speak like a mother chode? So I think you're a fucking mother chode. Yeah, can you speak louder? Yeah, and sure. How many gone abortions have you had? Can you speak a little louder than you are? Mother Yeah, a little louder. They block a lot of. Thank you for calling Hampton Inn and Suites. This is Jimmy speaking. How may I help you? How many gone abortions have you had? How many what? How many gone abortions have you had? It's just a simple, straightforward question. I I like to I, ask. I can't it, understand so what you're saying. Gone abortions, sir. How many have you had? I can't hear what you're saying. All day and express, I can help you. Hey, how uh, many abortions have you had? I'm sorry? I'm just Hello? simply requesting to know how many abortions you've had. It's it's a standard question I ask every hotel before I stay there. It's it's nothing personal. It's I just like to get an idea before, you know, I stay at the hotel. So I'm, I'm simply requesting to know how many abortions you've had. All right, hanging the phone up. Thanks for calling Homewood Suites. Could you hold, please? Hi, how many abortions? Excuse me? Yeah, how many abortions have you had? Is that close? 
Oh, no, that's open. Thank you for calling the Super 8. How may I help you? Hi. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to turn the heat up in my room. Um, I do not know. Which room are you in, sir? Well, I'm in uh, I'm in 110, and I'm trying to dehydrate some uh, umbilical cord. Uh, I'm trying to make some homemade jerky. Okay. Okay. Give me one second, and I will come down and look. I'm new, but I'll come down and look. That's okay. the reason why I don't know. I haven't been. Yeah, I've just I've just yeah yeah I've got some. Uh, some pots on boiling water so that it's evaporating in the air, creating you know quite a bit of humidity in here. But I'm I'm just trying to make some uh, some of the uh, the umbilical cord jerky. Uh, my sister oh. just gave birth. I got the umbilical cord, and so I'm trying to dry it out and I'm trying to season it and marinate it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so I'm just trying to figure out how to. I got to increase the heat. Okay. Give me one second. Let mm-hmm. me see if I can call. And, uh, it's organic. Mm-hmm. It's it, I'm trying. It's it's a new business that I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to get involved in. Uh, basically, I believe it's going to be the next Slim Jim. I have actually heard exactly what you're talking about. Um, I've seen it on my PCOS post when mothers give birth. Uh-huh. They actually consume it because it helps them with breastfeeding, amongst other things. And other people have benefits from eating it also. Yeah. Well, th- this one I'm going to sharpen to a point, and I'm going to hide it, like, in the, with the sleeve of my trench coat, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chase people down the street. What? Yeah, I'm going to sharpen it to a point, and I'm going to chase people and scare them for TikTok views. Oh, my God. That's yeah. If I catch if I, if I if I if I catch him, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna clip him right in the uh, Achilles, and then they'll fall down, and and they will laugh, and they'll they'll be like, oh my Achilles, and they will laugh, and then I'll get I'll get I'll get sponsorships. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. And then I'll That's be sponsored by she, but I'll be I'll be sponsored by Shadow Legends, Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, That's when the big bucks second. come in, and then and then Factor seventy five comes in, and starts giving me offers, and then uh, shut the green chef box, green green meal chefs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then that's when the big bucks come in. And then that's uh, there's this famous uh, TikToker and YouTuber High Phonics, um, and he'll he'll actually sponsor me to impregnate his wife Sophia because he's sterile and he's bald and he doesn't want those genetics passed on to his child. And I have a luscious mm-hmm. head of hair. I heard that. Yeah, I got cur- I got curly hair. My hair, if it gets long, it actually curls and it looks like I got a I got a man perm. But don't you you think? Um, Big worm from Friday. Like if I let my hair just grow instead of having curlers in it, like my hair looks like that naturally. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what? You know what? Also, I figured out as as I get older, I actually, you know, you watch Friday, right? I assume. Uh, Friday. Yeah, the movie, the movie Friday with uh, Ice Cube, Chris Tucker. You know, back in the day, nineties, nineties movie. Oh, I was gonna say, I you know, the older I get, the more I understand why Big Worm was stressing about that two hundred dollars that Smokey, you know, didn't have. Because life is expensive. Did they not answer? I haven't gotten a reply back yet, but I did send them send a message. Okay, because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just I want to apply a lot of heat. Yes, sir. Huh? 
I have a blow I have a blowtorch and I can apply some lacquer to it and I can you know put some uh some nice laminate to it maybe maybe you know more more heat and then and then yeah and then it'll be hard and I can put it to a point and I can I can chase people around you know any people I can chase around Hmm You know any people no, I can chase I don't around know how to chase around can you call some friends and just tell them you need you need help jump in your car, and then when they come in the parking lot, and I can chase them. Uh, I don't have any friends. Okay, what about enemies? You got any? You got any enemies? No, sir. What about what about an ex boyfriend who did you wrong, and he took like an abort uh, like just an abundance of your shit? No, I just. Pray about it and live and let live. <laughs> All right. I, I guess I'll just have to. I'll just have to chase around some of the other guests. I guess. Okay. Try not to do that. Well, I'm gonna go knock, well, gonna go knock on some doors real quick and see if I can find. Hang on. Let's see if this person answers. Okay. Oh, Come on, answer the phone. Answer the phone. Answer the door. Who is this? Intel, can I help you? Hi, how many beef abortions do you have? I'm sorry? The beef portions? Beef portions? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on just a moment. Oh. Oh. Beef portion. He's getting a beef abortion right now. To check. Yeah. Here, you take it, brother. Wait, yeah. Are you asking if how many beef dishes we have, or how how many ounces are beef how, dishes? Y- are? Yeah, how many beef portions are remaining? Oh. Huh? Because we we were what? thinking about coming in, and we're wondering how many beef portions you have. I'm sorry, I'm still not understanding beef portions. Yeah, like beef abortions, you know? No, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand what you're asking me. <laughs> You want to know what kind of beef dishes we have, or do you want to know how many ounces? Yeah. How, yeah, what, exactly. What, what is it? Do you want to know what beef dishes we have, or do you want to know how many ounces? The yeah, beef we is? want we want to know what kind of beef portions we have. You're saying portions again. I don't. Know. What do you mean portions? Eighty-six well, Meals. So, what kind of beef dishes we have? Exactly. That's correct. Entrees. Okay. So we have a ribeye steak, yeah, thank you. a New York, or a filet mignon with uh, your choice of what about shrimp or the fish. Curtains? The what? Which, the and which, which one is the biggest portion? Uh, the you know, ribeye the is a 14 portion. ounce. Okay. And how many uh I abortions did we add? I'm sorry? Are those humane? I'll leave grown? Beef, beef. Thanks, guys. I'll uh, uh, ribeye <laughs> portion abortion. See you. Kids. Hello? That's on. How can I help you? Hello? Hey. Have you been, yeah, have you been feeding the squirrels? Squirrels? Yeah, they're like multiplying out here. Someone's been feeding the squirrels. You know those Hawaiian squirrels? Oh, the mongooses? No, they're the special squirrels that they only have in Hawaii. I'm not sure what you're talking about. They're called the uh, Ohana squirrels. Yeah. Ohana squirrels. Hmm. Yeah, Ohana means squirrel. And squirrel means never being left behind. Yeah, but you got to stop feeding all these damn squirrels because now well, we got squirrels, we got though. chickens. Excuse me, did you just say something about my mama? Not at all. Did you call me a howley? No, not at all. Oh, that's good. All right. Ow, this cat is biting me. You got a regular menagerie out here in front of the restaurant. 
Hmm. Hey, so I took some uh, Hawaiian money to the mainland and they didn't accept it. What's that about? I'm not sure. You say, yeah, we don't accept Hawaiian money. You know, it's like, wow, are you stupid? And they're like, no, fuck you. Go back to your island, little bitch boy. And I was hurt. And I got back in my... Oh, my God. Ted. Ted. Yes. The f- mongooses are back. The mongooses? I thought they were Hold squirrels. On, I'm getting another call. No, you're not. I the squirrels can't. are back. No, okay. the squirrels are back. Well, what are we going to do about these mongooses? The mongooses. Oh, my God. This, this is the cutest thing ever. Sorry to ruin the call, but, uh, Lean, you know the video you're showing with the cats eating? Yeah, with the cats. Felix, yeah, Felix is standing up and he's he's patting the the picture, like the... (laughs) Are they not in Hawaii? Hi, I wipe my own ass. No, he's lying. He doesn't. I do it for him. Hi, yeah, ma'am. Can you hear me? Hello? Hi, can you hear me? No, I can. Okay, no. I wipe my own ass. No, he well, doesn't. We, we wipe, wipe it for him. Both of us. We we figure it out when it's time to do laundry. We just I scoop it out. And I wipe the ass. Yeah, I watched Big Big Daddy the other day. <laughs> Happy day. Thanks for calling Tony Ramos in Tumal and Jen speaking. How may I help you? Hi, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. What is this? I called. This is Tony Bromas. Tony Bromas. So, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what the fuck that is. But uh, do you potentially have any gone cutters? I'm sorry? Do you potentially have any gone platters? If we have any... I'm sorry. It's gone of platters. Like, Gone flavored platters. I'm sorry, ma'am. Platters? Yes, platters. Exactly. We do have from take for takeout. Okay. Can you describe to me like your main entrees? I'm not super familiar um, with your uh, restaurant. I'm sorry. So for for entrees, we do have, you know, of course we have ribs, uh, we have steaks, we have chicken dishes, we have pastas, we have burgers and sandwiches. Um, we do have salads. Do you, by chance, have the labia platters? Labia abortion platters? What kind of platters? Or the labia abortion platters. I, I, I know it's not... You know, like a standard dish everywhere. I'm, I'm just curious if you have I labia abortion. No, we don't. Hi, my name oh, is Fred okay. Jason. I'm Fred. sorry. Uh, my husband's going to take the order now. I, I, I'm, he's going to take it over from here. Sorry. Okay. Hello. Hi. How y'all doing? What brings yes, you to so Texas? I'm doing well. I'm I'm sorry. Are you from uh, Texas? <laughs> um, my husband he he need to lose the weight. He wants to order. He ribs? has a enabler. He has an enabler live with him to bring him the food. What is the problem with that? For which you one? You give him ribs. You give him rib. You give him all cookies and candies and make him fat. I'm so sorry about that. Do you want to place an you, order? You need or? 20 pounds per month. I give him, I told him he must learn, he must lose 30 pounds in two months. He come back, he gained eight pounds. From where? The ribs. Or, or the, the abortion. You can, I you tell, can also have an abortion. I tell him rib, rib is not pounds. part of you. I tell him rib is not part of your diet. Oh, okay. Was he eating too much ribs? I tell him mother toad. Mother toad is enabling diet too. Mother toad buys too oh. much McDonald's. You oh, know, I ask okay. him, I say, can I help, can what's I help different you now? Anything? You wake up. 
I asked her, what's different today? You know you've got a weight problem. You weigh 600 pounds. What's different today? You know? I'm so sorry. Can I help you with any orders? Well, I want you to pay for his uh, weight loss surgery because he gained over 200 pounds eating your ribs. Oh, I, I don't think I can do that. So can I help you with any, any orders or anything? Maybe you can give him some exercise. You know, yeah, what so is what is your mobility? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm going to put you... Uh, I'm going to hang up now because I don't think I can help you. No. But you're... I, I will send several squirrels to you. Where's Mike out? I'm going to go find Mike out. I'm Jamaican Bill. Come on. Hi, your food Wait, made no. me fat. I'm sorry. I'm going to go find my pussy out there. Back. Yeah, your food made me uh, fat. I ate there all the time. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? I went or? to... Have, do you know the, my 600-pound life? Huh? You ever see that show? You ever see the show, My 600-Pound Life, with the uh, doctor now? <laughs> no, I believe I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. He comes in the room. He says, hello. What brings you to Texas? And it's, like, obvious why they're there, because they're, like, 700 pounds or something. But he <laughs> makes it sound like he doesn't know why they're there. I was on the show, and I was the first person to double in size. I was I made I made a record. I start, yeah. I he says hello. We're gonna take your weight. He says, oh look, you over six hundred pound. And he says, I give you two months, lose thirty pound. I came back, I weigh twelve hundred pound. I showed him. Hello? But I, I gained all the weight. Yeah, I gained all the weight there, though. Do you even see me? I had a table all by myself. I'm just eating and eating and eating. I believe that's when I wasn't in. <laughs> oh, you remember me. I told you to just, you brought the menu over, and I said, can you just put it all in a big bucket and stir it up and bring it to the table? <laughs> uh... Oh, I also asked for a straw, yeah. Probably another server, sir. <laughs> but oh. what can I get for you today? Well, I'm trying to watch my weight, so um, can I maybe have the menu? Just one menu? Okay. Um, you want to check our menu online? No, I, I just I want the whole menu, like one one of everything on the menu in a big bucket. Are you sure? <laughs> you could put it in a wheelbarrow if that's easier. <laughs> you could make it into sausage. You, you have a sausage machine? No, sir. I need to gain 600 more pounds because they're going to start a new show called My 2,000 Pound Life, and I want to get on that show. <laughs> Did you date somebody who weighed 2,000 pounds? Is that something you're interested in? Who, me? Yeah. Um... I really don't think so. Oh, no. <laughs> I may have taken my life in the wrong direction. I thought by gaining weight. You know, in the old days, being overweight was seen as a sign of wealth and high status. You know, if women had a little extra badonka donk or junk in the trunk and the men were a little chunky, they're like, oh, you know, you must be rich because you can be fat. You know, you can I'm afford sorry? the food. Yeah. So I thought by getting to 2,000 pounds, you'd think I was rich. Something is happening. Sorry? The gone sauce is happening. 
my friend, he has a problem with his arm. I, yeah, I, miss I, I drink too much alcohol, and then the abortion happened on my arm, and I'm I'm not sure what to do here, man. Can you help me out? Yeah, and there's flies in my cat's chicken. Yeah, Mon, you can go too, Mon. Hello. Hello. How y'all doing? Good, and you, did you want to place an order? What happened? I'm sorry. You're calling Jamaican Girl what and Tumon. You, what, what, what bring you to Texas? Back to the rest. Hi, how many hey, abortions my, my have you had? My arm fell off. The Hello? numerical count. My arm, my, arm, my, arm my arm fell off. My arm fell off. You didn't know how many of your arms fell off, and as well, how many of abortions you had. I'm sorry. Where's hello? Hello. Abortions. Can you hear me, you sir? Didn't know how many abortions you've had. Um, I think you got the wrong number. No, sir. No, I don't think so. We're we calling the hotel, right? Oh, uh, you have your long to make an order for a restaurant. Yes, we're going to make an order at the restaurant. Exactly. Oh, okay. We're going to make one abortion order. I'm sorry? Two buku. One, one chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka. Oh. <laughs> chicken tikka. One maro chod. He wants one maro chod, one chicken tikka, and one bangali bang chod. Oh, the phone's ringing. Fuck. Hoffity, thank you for calling where I could Guam this is Jonathan. How can I help you? Hello, hey, can we have one order of mother what I'm sorry? Do you one more order I'm sorry, here talk to my husband. I'm sorry. My life partner has a very specific taste. He wants to know if you have the Chef Boyardee Stars pasta available there. I'm so sorry. Um this is the Royal Orchid Guam Hotel. Yeah, I I know you guys are all royal and fancy and you Probably, a, you know, Chef Boyardee is beneath your culinary capabilities, but you wouldn't mind cracking open a can for my friend? Sure. So it's kind of like if you bring wine, your own wine, right? You have to pay a corking fee. Mm -hmm. um, do we have to pay, like, a can opening fee if we bring our own Chef Boyardee? Nope. Oh, you'll, you'll open it up right up first? So we heat it, too? Do we have to pay for the heating the no, no charge. Pasta. No charge. You're so generous. I How know. much is a can opener abortion? Because we need to bring our, our wife there, and she needs a can opener abortion. A can opener abortion? A can opener abortion, sir. A can opener... Abortion. Abortion? <laughs> exactly. Oh, I see. That's what no, you mean. he doesn't mean that. He means a potion. It's, you know, like a, a magical potion. Oh, those. Okay. Like, like love potion. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you drink the potion and then you'll suddenly have fried chicken tits. Oh, like I your see. man boobs turn into fried chicken tits. Yeah. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I knew you'd find that interesting. You're a Harry Potter fan, aren't you? No, not at all. You're not. Oh my God, I'm gonna tell. Do you ever have sex with a woman and then tell her to ride on the back <laughs> of the hay cart? May I ask you speaking? Just to shake, just to shake things up in there. <laughs> it's it's the gone abortion, doctor. We do have abortions exclusively yeah, yeah. to the gone then. This is shit face hole. My three husbands also also partake. You ever have a sex with a woman and tell her to go on a roller coaster for no apparent reason? I'm oh, sorry? I said, you ever have an unprotected sex with a woman and then tell her to ride a roller coaster repeatedly until she feels <laughs> ill? I'm sorry, I gotta go. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, that's a fancier Bye. word, yeah. Well, elixirs last longer, right?
like coils. Hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing there, you, you stupid bitch? Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Who is this? Ass. My name is Ass. My name is Fred G. Sanford, and the G stands for valedictorian. No, it stands for guava. That's what it stands for. Yeah. I'm going to appropriate your culture. Do this. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Hi. How Hello. are you? Are you tired? Ma'am, are Did you tired? Did you guys ask her already? Jesus. I was asking if she needs some rest. Oh. Ma'am, do you need some rest? Who is this? The rest. My name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh my God, get to the question. Ask her the question. Come on, let's go. Ask her the fucking question. The question is... Go on. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Ah, oh, fuck. Hopefully, go back and help you. Hi, there's a troll. There's a troll on the internet making me bullying me. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, I came to your restaurant and there was this guy. He says, I'm going to troll you on social media and the internet. And I didn't believe him. And then none starts happening now. From re what restaurant, sir? That one? Yeah, of course. The restaurant. I'm sorry? Yeah, so last time I was there, I was served cat food. I think it was a mistake by the kitchen. We also got an abortion. My husband and I got an abortion last time we were there. We're not exactly sure which which doctor was serving us at the time, but we had an abortion platter as well. Yeah, he called it the... They had a special called Love Abortion Number 9. He said, drink this. I don't know. Mm, one moment. Just a moment. Who are you calling? Ghostbusters? Aw, Kitty's nervous. Hi, I was served cat food in your restaurant, and I'm very upset about this. Okay, let me transfer to F&B. Okay. No, forget you, human. Aww. <laughs> Hoffaday, thank you for calling the FMB office. How can I help you? Hi, I was served cat food in one of your restaurants. For which restaurant? I think it was a mistake. Uh, that okay. one? It was that one. That one there? Hello, sir. The one here so inside the, the hotel? Yeah, the, the Roots restaurant? Yeah, the problem is... That yeah, the problem is, is I wanted um, the savory chicken entree, and they brought me turkey and, and gravy. I don't like that flavor of cat food. I like the chicken entree. They brought me turkey. But the tuna's all right, too, in, in a pinch. Yeah. The tuna's I mean, okay. if, if Chewy.com is out of chicken, like the, then i got to go with turkey. But if they're out of turkey, then it's tuna. You know how that goes. Let me just connect you to the restaurant, okay? Yeah, we keep getting transferred around. I don't know what's happening. Just a moment. Okay. Just a moment. Oh, but I got the latest thing. Hi. Oh, all the kitties are here. Hi. I was served the wrong flavor of cat food there. 
Excuse me? I had uh, ordered uh, food there, and I was served cat food, but it wasn't the right flavor. I wanted uh, chicken entree, and I got turkey with gravy. Oh, we don't serve cat food here, sir. Really? It, it tasted like cat food, so I thought maybe it was. Um, what, uh, when did you dine in here before? Well, it was, uh, for lunch yesterday. Oh, for um, lunch? Me, me, yeah, me uh, and, uh, Garfield and, yeah, me and Garfield and Heathcliff were, uh, dining there. For buffet? Yeah, it was me, Garfield, Heathcliff, and, uh, Tom. Uh-huh. Of Tom and Jerry, yeah. Have you let our manager know about it prior to that? Oh, yeah, I've been, I've been all around. Nobody wants to fess up to serving me the wrong cat food. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, how are you going to rectify this? Can you send me some, like, greenies or something to make up for it? Um, we can wait for our manager to come. Yeah, maybe so you can give me some, manager. like, some, like, chocolate-covered greenies or something. Yeah. May I just get the name of your reservation uh, for yesterday, sir? So we can... Uh, Okay. You say you made the reservation, or where you, did you just walk in? Here? It's no, we just walked in. Yeah, it was the the buffet. Oh, may I just get your uh, phone number, sir, and then your name, and then we can just um, wait for our manager, and then he can just contact you. Okay, you can call this number that we're calling from. Can you see it on the caller ID? Uh, it's an off-island number, so we oh. normally, yeah. Yeah, I got Cricket Wireless, so you know what that is. Oh, I see. May I just get the your name then, I guess? What are you guys doing over there? Are you playing shuffleboard? Excuse me? Are you playing shuffleboard or something, or...? Uh, no, those are just... Excuse me? Can you tell the people who work there to do their job more quietly, please? Fucking Jesus Christ, I'm about to be hungover and I just fucking hear this hammering like... Jesus it might Christ. as well be hammering directly on my fucking skull. Let alone on my goddamn gun. Tell them oh, to shut the fuck uh, up, please. Yeah, he's had to go to bentcarrot.com and feel bad for him. So this was uh, yesterday's lunch? Yep. May I just get your name, sir? My name is Frederick. Is it possible you can spell that for me, sir? Okay, it's okay. It's Felis, F E L I S, F E L I S. Yeah, last name is okay. Katus, C A T U S, C A T U S. It's like a combination of cat and anus. Yeah. Felis, Felis Katus, C A T U S. Yeah. And yep. what would be the best time to contact you? Sir? Well, I'm I'm nocturnal, so like I hunt in the early morning. Um, so maybe like midnight or something. I don't know. Midnight. Unfortunately, our manager is not available at midnight. Oh yes, I've been corrected. It's crepuscular. Yeah, Crep uh, you can never say that word. Crep. You skewer, crepuscular. Can't say it. Dawn or dusk? Yeah, call me at dawn. We'll duel at dawn. Meow. Meow. 
So you, you ever went watch Mr. Rogers? You went here for a seafood buffet? No, I told you we wanted chicken. They served us turkey, and we tuna is the last turkey. resort. Yeah, I know that's the problem. I don't know where the turkey came from. Uh, we don't serve turkey yet because Friday we only do seafood buffet. So. Oh, I thought Friday was squirrel. Mm. No. Mm. Not crocodiles or alligators. None of that stuff. I, I sense frustration in the force. Are you okay, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure. We're just double checking for the the guest that dined in here yesterday. Hmm. Yeah. Did you have any anyone named Felix Caddis come in? Do you know my owner, John? He's a. Uh, uh, he's a very. How many yesterday? Oh. Two. This is for two. Mhm. Mm yeah, my owner, you know John Arbuckle. He was with me. Which one? We also had the, yeah, we had the dog. Odie was with us too. Yeah. Sorry, sir, but we don't he's, um, have. Uh, Caddis on the list of the people dining. What about yesterday. Arbuckle? Um, no Arbuckle. Could be Arlene because uh, John really liked the the vet veterinarian named Arlene. Uh, no Arlene. He actually well. convinced her. He actually convinced her to come over for Thanksgiving dinner, which his grandma wound up cooking. But yeah. No Arlene here as well, sir. Wow, we're in an impasse. Help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. So, do you serve lasagna there? Uh, no, sir. We don't serve lasagna. Oh, because... My cat Garfield, he only eats lasagna. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we don't serve lasagna here. Yeah, I mean... I mean, he did try to send Normal to Abu Dhabi once, so maybe he doesn't deserve lasagna. I don't know. He boxed her uh, up. May I get the name Abu of Dhabi. the restaurant you're calling to, sir? Uh, the it's the called... You're trying uh, to eat? It's called Sleep Train. Uh, that's the name of the restaurant you're trying to reach, sir. This yeah, the, the name, name of the restaurant is called uh, Sleep Train. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the name of this restaurant. Oh. Yeah. Is the name of the restaurant Large Woman Eats Cinnamon Rolls Off Belly with Whipped Cream? Is that the name of this restaurant? 